Now hang on. Before the video starts, over 80% of people who watch our videos are not subscribed. So, if you enjoy our content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Go on, do it now. This brings us now to our weapons of choice. We can start off looking at a pole spear. Often people start with a pole spear. So to take quality fish with a pole spear is tough. It's really tough. It's a matter of getting really close to the game. However, taking fish is quite possible and crayfish as well if you're in Queensland. Okay, let's just have a quick look at it. This is a pole spear. You've got rubber on this end here. Okay, that's your source of power. Okay, rubber gets stretched like so. Boom, that gives you your shot. On this end, you've either got a pranger, looks like you've got your four prongs there, very sharp, and you've got, or you've, you know, on some of them you've got a point. You know? And even some spares for the very sophisticated ones that are chasing big fish, you can even have a breakaway on it, and uh, where the, uh, the head breaks away in the fish and you've played the fish on the line. But this is the very basic thing. So there are some uh, tips for getting fish on uh, a pole spear. And probably the, uh, probably the best one is to target the caves. So the reason for this is that the fish often feels quite safe in a cave. So it'll sees the diver come down and next thing it zooms off and goes into a cave. So the diver comes along and he's got a spear and he sees a cave down there. And the way to approach it is don't go down there, see the fish, then load your spear and, and try and shoot it. It's, uh, the fish is going to be long gone. The way to work a, a, a fish out of a cave is to see the cave you're going to target, you go down to it and as you approach, you load the spear. Now in this one here, I would be loading this here, up to this here, into this area here. And then get down to the cave, you go down to the cave and put your head and Spear into the line of the cave at the same time. You've got to make a fast decision. The fish think they're safe. They're only, they'll only think that for about a second before they go, oh, something's wrong here, and it's gone. You know? So you've got to actually be on the ball. You go down there like that, and all of a sudden you see, oh, I want that, it's a jack, boom. And you take it, okay? So uh, pole spears, you're going to need, uh, if you want to take a bigger fish, you need a heavier spear. This is a, a heavier one here. You can get small fish and, and flathead and things like that on a light one. It's not that important. In Queensland, uh, we can take um, crayfish with a pole spear. We cannot do that in New South Wales, and uh, I'm not sure on the other states at this point in time. I'm sure your, the, uh, your local divers there will be able to tell you. <coughs> But uh, it's as simple as pie with that. You just go in there and you see the crayfish and you go chunk and take the crayfish out of the hole. So it's pretty straightforward in that. So it can be effective. You can get good fish. You've just, uh, you know, when it comes to setting up ambushes, you see a, a fish go down behind the reef, you can set up an ambush. And every now and then you're gonna pull that one off. Uh, but swimming up to a fish in the open water, the fish has got to be a completely daft fish to let you get that close. And most of these fish we target aren't quite that dumb. Now that brings us on here to safety. Pole spears are fairly safe in that uh, you have to wind them up. You've got to get that rubber happening before they get developed power. However, this is the crucial point. Uh, in New South Wales, I remember one time someone was coming up the beach, up a beach path with a tip uncovered and tripped and went forward and hit a girl with the end of the spear. So that, uh, this area, we must cover this area. Look, we're given one of these, but look, a bottle cap, you know, a, a bleach bottle cap will do it. You just put that in there like that. And uh, that renders it safe, you know. So I think that's important on the, uh, the safety on the uh, pole spear. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. You can check out more content on our YouTube channel. Visit one of our stores and shop online at www.spearfishing.com.au.